welcome to this uh, this training. So basically, this is just to show you a strategy that both me and my clients are using at the minute to to generate high value uh, clients and appointments using this this strategy. Uh, and these appointments close really well; they close at about thirty percent, and uh, it's cold traffic that we're generating through uh, through LinkedIn. So let me pull up the slides here. Um, so yeah, so we're going to use um, three different things really: Sales Navigator, which is the premium version of LinkedIn, LinkedIn, and ChatGPT. Um, so these work in uh, work in unison to uh, to fulfil this this strategy. So just a bit more of an intro into it, and so. I'm constantly investing my energy and resources in terms of my money into uh, into learning what are the best ways to generate business uh, and good business, not just any business, but high value stuff. Uh, and then I'm learning this stuff and rolling it out to my clients when I've once I've nailed it for myself. Um, so I'm always looking at strategies that offer the smallest investment in terms of time and revenue <clears throat> and money and to, to get the biggest return. And at the moment, this is the best thing I've come across. I used to spend about two, three thousand pound a month on Facebook ads, but um, now I've kind of switched that uh, that strategy off, and I employ this now, which costs about one hundred and fifty pound a month, and I'm getting the same kind of results from it. Uh, the outcome, we should if we follow this strategy um, the way we, we should, and we're committed to it. Uh, after three months, it should generate you three to five qualified, high value appointments consistently, week in, week out. Specifically with your most perfect ideal client, who's um, obviously profitable and high value. So this is just a bit of the agenda then that we're going to go through. So we're just going to go into a bit of introduction to who I am. Some case studies, real life case studies to show you some proof that this thing actually does work, uh, which it does. Uh, we're going to go a bit deeper into the strategy. Just going to do a bit of an intro to LinkedIn, uh, ChatGPT and the Sales Navigator premium version of LinkedIn. Um, then we're going to just go through the steps of the actual strategy. Number one, step one is define and deep selling. Uh, number two, once we've defined who we're going after and we've done some psychological research, we need to connect with these people. So we show you how to do that. And um, we show you uh, the next part of the strategy. Step step three is uh, posting consistent content, um, consistent quality content, which is key. Not just any content. It's more of a case of quality of quantity. Uh, and then step four is actually executing on the on the strategy. So who am I then? That's me there with my two little darlings. Um, that's Noah and Lydia. Um, obviously I'm a father, I have two young kids. Uh, I'm an ex nightclub promoter on the professional side. That was what got me into entrepreneurship and marketing. I used to um, yeah, run club nights around my local town in, North York, uh, in the north of England. And yeah, that's the kind of thing that got me into marketing. I used to market my own events. Back then it was a lot of, this was like the early 2000s, so it was a lot of running around with a pasting bucket, pasting massive a or posters on walls, dodging the police with a, a hood over your head. So but things have changed a lot. Obviously this was, like I say, early 2000s, and then obviously stuff like, there was a site called uh, MySpace, I don't know if some of you can remember that. Used that to promote the events, and then Facebook came out in 2004, which, yeah, just saved me so much time, because I could just, literally sit on sit in front of my laptop on, on my backside and do a lot of the work and do a lot of the heavy lifting that I was doing running around with a pasting brush just sat on Facebook setting up like event pages and then I'd get I'd invite all my friends to the Facebook uh, to the Facebook event and all the DJs would invite all their friends so yeah we've just got seen a lot more using leveraging technology uh, and then obviously it's evolved a lot from then I, and I, I started offering a service to my connections from hospitality clubs and restaurants as well just by just by posting on their business pages on Facebook and then started to run ads for some of them and then I started to do coaching one-to-one -one coaching to teach them the stuff that I was doing for my clients for them to do it themselves and then obviously COVID hit which pretty much bombed half of my business pretty much overnight because obviously like I say a lot of it was hospitality but I did have a couple of brokers on that, just like a friend, it was a friend's brother originally, then he introduced me to another. And then uh, one of those guys was with Primus, the Mortgage Network, so he introduced me to um, a guy called Bob Scott, which some of you will know, and who, intro who introduced me then to um, to Rich Coulson, who then owned Primus. And they got me in to do these social media workshops over over Zoom, because it was lockdown, so they were wanting to upskill their people while they couldn't really do much on, on digital marketing. 
so I picked up a few clients through that and then I realized I'm just going to focus on this this area now because that's the bulk of my clients now so I just niched into financial services and I guess I locked down was this was the time it all kicked off because then I realized I couldn't do half the stuff I was doing even with financial services like the one-to-one -one coaching which and it just made it easy because I was spending all day traveling just to see one client so then I made the decision to put everything I know into a product size package in the form of an online coaching program, an online course and, and, and coaching, um, which was obviously COVID proof and it made sense because it could be scaled. I could take on really as many clients as I need because it's it's very scalable, that model, compared to the, the, the coaching model and, and the actual done for you side of things we're actually doing the the, the ads and things for, for firms and advisors. So, yeah, so that's how my professional kind of journey has, has gone up to now. Uh, personal, as you can see the picture, I have days out with my kids on the weekend, we go to center parks and stuff, and then uh, I'm into boxing, mixed martial arts and fitness, that takes up a, and weight training, that's something I have a big passion for, and eating good food and, and traveling the world, which um, as some of you guys are in the same position, it's the beauty, thing, be, the beauty of uh, being able to do anything from your laptop, you can travel around and, and work while you while you're traveling around. So it's in a really beautiful position, I think, to be able to do that. Um, so enough about me, let's go on to the next slide. So these are just some case studies then, some real life case studies of people we've helped um, pretty recently and in the past uh, with this strategy and how it's gone on for them. So this is Joel, he's, uh, like I said, we, we're really stringent on making sure that we're going for a, a, a small market, a profitable market, it needs to be big enough, but um, for Joel, his market is aviation, he's an ex-pilot, so he, he serves pilots with mortgages and protection. So he generates 10 points per week on uh, consistently using this strategy. Uh, and he's, the mortgage is that his clients are going for around 500k, so he's making good money out of that. And then obviously the protection as well on top, because there's aviation pilots, so it's, it's, a, it's a high risk category, so the protection premiums are quite high. And, as, as, um, and, and with that is the, the other commissions that are high. So he, he managed to generate 7.5k in the first month of actually executing on this strategy. And it quadrupled his revenue after 12 months of working with us on this uh, on this, this LinkedIn strategy. So Amanda, Amanda's done really well out of it. Her market is investment bankers. She generates regular net worth mortgage clients. She generated 1.8 mils worth purchase mortgages in the first two months of doing that. And she recently she generated 4.5 mils worth of purchase mortgages within just 24 hours um, or through this, this LinkedIn strategy. So, just a bit more of an intro into the actual strategy then and how we execute on it and what we use. So, the systems that we use, we use LinkedIn. So, we do it off your personal profile on LinkedIn. So, we optimize your LinkedIn psychology of your market. We obviously just text us on to the next part. We use ChatGPT to help do that market research. We used to get our guys to go out and do surveys and put posts in social media groups, speak to people. But now we can just ask ChatGPT if we prompt it in the right way and it just reels off all this gold data that we can use for in our, in our marketing and everything that we use everything we put out there which includes the profile optimization side of things because we're going back to the linkedin stuff we're basically turning your linkedin profile into effectively a landing page which is all with persuasive copy in there which is talking directly to um the psychology of your market and which really resonates with them and uh yeah and then like i said we um we just bring in targeted traffic to that using um so Sales Navigator is this, this is the premium version of LinkedIn, but basically LinkedIn knows everything about everybody and we can leverage that data and build lists of leads effectively. And then once we've built those lists, we then plug that into this AI connector, which then connects with all these people. So that's a, that's a real kind of high level overview of the strategy. Just going a bit deeper into it, in terms of the, the first aspect, that's about defining your ideal client. We call it deep selling because we, once we've defined who it is that we're going after, we then, like I said, do all the psychological research, which marketing is all about getting in the heads of your ideal clients. And you can only do that once when you want, number one, if you define, when you've defined. And like I said, we can use ChatGPT to really dig in into the surface level reasons why people make decisions and then all the emotional stuff, which is the stuff that really gets people and motivates people and yeah that's what i call it deep selling because as i say this you can't just put these days uh we do mortgages give us a ring it's all about getting real deep into the psychology of your market and putting that in front of the ideal client and then yeah like i say really just showing that you understand them really 
and, and their psychology and what's going on in their heads. And when people feel understood, that builds the trust factor, which is obviously essential in any business transaction, but specifically in financial services when it's a massive financial commitment. So once you identify, uh, add a client is defined with them, you need to connect with the people, which like I said, we use Sales Navigator for that. It's a perfect tool for that. So I used to use Facebook ads to do that, to find the people. Some of you may have used Facebook ads, you know there's different, where well, you target different interests. Similar concepts with Sales Navigator, there's different filters in there so you can really drill down on your perfect ideal client. The next part of the strategy is consistent quality content. So we need a flow of tailored valuable content that's, that, that's designed to build relationships and, and keep you top of mind. So it's that consistency and tailoring the, the content around your ideal client. So why LinkedIn then? So LinkedIn is the perfect place for financial services. I think it's it's got a really high net worth customer audience on there. As you can see, UK earners earning over 48K. There's 52% of people on there earning over 48K. Um, people are just in a different mindset, I think, on that. It's more of a, a deals mindset, more business -y kind of mindset where people are open to, to doing deals and talking about things like... Um, mortgages and, and financial services. So ChatGPT then, some of you will have used it, some of you won't. Uh, I'm guessing most of you who have used it are probably not using it to its full potential. Um, like anything, it's, you, it's really beneficial to learn how to use it properly. I'm kind of, kind of pretty much obsessed with all this AI stuff these days and ChatGPT just, all of it, all the AI stuff just fits perfectly into my narrative which is to work less and earn more. And ChatGPT just makes things so much quicker and easier. So we use it for various things throughout what we do, but specifically for this strategy, as I said before, we use it for the market research side. It can actually give us content ideas. It can create the actual content, and it's really good for creating persuasive sales copy. Like I used to pay copywriters to actually produce my ads and things, like the, the copy and then once they're copy, it's just... The, it's Basically, the copywriting is the way the analogy I use is... is, is it's sales, but in text. So sales is a science, as is copywriting. So you've got to put that, in, again, based on the psychology of market and, and really kind of make the copy persuasive to, to take them the next action. Um, so, yeah, and like I said, I used to pay copywriters to do that. Now, ChatGPT does it to a good of effect. Again, if you prompt it in the right way. So Sales Navigator, as I say, it... As it says here, Sales Navigator helps sales professionals successfully perform three of the most critical fun functions involved in the discipline. Um, for us, we used to use it for, like I said, the, the, um, uh, the, the lead gen side of things. So we're just building lists of your perfect, most ideal client in LinkedIn. And uh, we use, we go for a list of two, two to 4,000 of your perfect ideal client. Uh, once we've built that list, we then plug it into the, uh, the AI connector, which, like I said, just brings pushes all that targeted traffic effectively to what effectively is your landing page. So a few other bits as well that that does, that AI piece of software, so we go out. So once they've connected, not everybody's going to connect, obviously, but if the profile is optimised, then we should hope that 30 to 40% should connect. And then we're sending them a message once they have connected, 24 hours after they've connected, just a simple, real, basic question that's simple for them to answer. So for me, I use this for, to get my clients. I just literally say, hi, thanks for connecting. I see you're in financial services at the minute. Uh, I, see if in, I see we're both in financial services. Crazy time at the minute. How's business? It's just something basic and simple. There's no agenda there. There's no sales pitch. Again, the analogy I use, it's, it's, this is like networking, but in the virtual world. And you're not having to get off your backside at 7 o'clock, well, 6 o'clock in the morning to, to travel, to sit in a room full of people where two of them might be your ideal client. This is all automated and it's putting you in front of the thousands of your ideal client week in, week out. Um, but yeah, like I say, in a networking event, you wouldn't just go up to someone and, and start pitching them. You'd build a bit of rapport and say, hi, how are you doing? And just have a little conversation before you get to the point of mentioning what you do and how you help people. Uh, so it's a similar concept with this. You just basic question, get, it's just a re evoke a response, that first message. Once you've got that response, you then lead in that conversation into finding out if there is a need for the service and if there is getting them booked into a, a into your calendar for a call. So yeah, there's as I said, the, the, the defining who it is and doing this deep selling. But this is gold, this stuff. People just don't bother to do this because it is work, but it's so powerful. They either don't bother or just don't know to do it. From because it is from a marketing standpoint, it is essential really. 
to uh, to define and really get specific as to who your most perfect ideal client is. So yeah, it just leads to being more selective over who we work with. I think saying no in business is something that we could all do with being better at, and it's 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 uh, it's so beneficial to do. Uh, so and yeah, and just like I say, filling your calendar up with these big fish, these big deals. So yeah, because you have more attention from the right people, because your marketing will get more attention because it's specifically tailored and it'll get the attention of the right people. So you will be getting more appointments through it uh, and doing more deals. Uh, but in reality, if you're just going for an average uh, case size at the moment, then we don't go for the average, we go for the, the top. If you think of the best you've done over the past couple of years, just constant, just all those. So in reality, you'll probably need to do less appointments uh, to get more money and uh, to make more profit. Which is, and, and more time because you've got, like I say, you're doing, you've got less clients, you've got less appointments, I mean, to do less of appointments, less for, but you're getting paid more for it. So, yeah, through precise impact, deep style marketing efforts, then the message that cuts through the noise and resonates specifically with your high end, uh, high value ideal clients, you'll be generating three to four or even five times more revenue per client. And this is something you could do straight away. And the sooner you do it, the sooner you, mark, you, you start seeing the, the difference and the, and the higher profits. So step two then, I'm oh, sorry, just go back to um, new market. So when we're looking at a new market then, these are the tick boxes that need ticking. One is profitability, as we've mentioned, they need to be high value. We need to be able to identify these people online. We need to be able to find them by typing the name the name of the, the role into Sales Navigator. It needs to be a growing market, not a shrinking one. And there needs to be a lot of pain and need in that market for you and for your service. So. When we're looking at the deep selling side, then this is onto ChatGPT. So there's a few different prompts we use. If, if people would like this prompt worksheet, I could send that over for you. So just come on and I'll, I'll send it below. <coughs> excuse me. So prompt one, <coughs> excuse me. Prompt one focuses on market research. So using ChatGPT, we can analyze data and trends to identify the pain points and desires of your target, target market, which is crucial for telling your offer. Using ChatGPT, enter your specific service and ideal client details in the prompt, analyze the AI generated insights to understand your client's needs better. So for, for this example, I've used what problems can a specialist buy to let mortgage broker help portfolio landlords who live in the UK. So then that'll give us, like I said, it just gives you it like that, all these, these problems and things that you are a buy to let specialist will be able to help uh, portfolio landlords with. Uh, so that gives a base, it's quite a basic prompt that, but it gives us just a base and then we can feed from that and prompt it again based on its original answers, which we do next. So this digs deeper into the deep selling aspect of this prompt. So we'll explore deeper into buy motivations, including both surface level reasons and underlying emotional needs. This understanding is key to creating an offers that resonates on, resonate on a personal level addressing not the practical needs, but also the fulfilling the emotional desires and needs, which just said before, that side of it is the stuff that motivates people, the deep and kind of intrinsic in reasons and, and triggers as to what gets people's attention, gets people's attention <clears throat> for one and gets them to buy. So that prompt is actually, I, I couldn't put it on there, but it's, it's probably about a, a, a side and a half of A4's worth of, of text that goes into that prompt. So it's really deep. Uh, it gives the, deep, the more detail we give ChatGPT, the better the responses. So step two then. So like I said before, we're turning your profile into a landing page, a LinkedIn uh, profile. It's all optimized around the psychology of your market. Uh, we then use, like I said, the system uh, sales navigator to build the list. Uh, and then we use the connector to connect with up to 500 of them every single week on autopilot once it's set up and then like I say it'll send them a message and that can be as soon as that's switched on it generates it well it can start to generate leads. Joel who was the example that on one of the case studies he literally got appointments and leads straight away and there is a and I did an interview with him the other day so you can check that out I can leave a link for that below but yeah he just started generating stuff pretty much very much straight away and like I said before he generated seven and a half k's worth of business off it in month one so but the the goal is that you should be able to get five or three to five appointments after three months per week consistently. So that's step two. So step three is consistent quality content. Like I say, focusing on quality over quantity. You can post all day, every day, 
and if it's just not if the copy's not resonating, if it's not tailored around your ideal client, it's just falling on dead ears. You're just wasting your time. Um, like I say, my strategy in business has always been to work less and no more. So we don't want to be doing stuff that's just pointless. We want to be just posting quality content and, and less of it. You don't need to post every single day. If, you, uh, if you're posting good quality content, it's key to be uh, consist uh, consistent and, and make sure the quality is there. Um, so we aim for three to seven days a week. You can do every day. If it's quality content every day, then obviously I tick both, both boxes. But you might be asking quality content, what, what, what kind of, what's, what, what, what's the definition of quality content? So quality is something I say that really gets the attention of the right people and serves a purpose, gives some value. And we can actually use ChatGPT to, to help with that process as well. There's a really powerful prompt we can use, which again is all based on what we've already given it in the feed. So we just keep prompting it to add to the results that it's already given us. And we can get it to create seven days worth of content or based on the psychology of your market and it'll just spit it out in five seconds. Uh, it is worth tailoring that and kind of adjusting it and customizing bits, but they're really good kind of templates to use. And then it's just a case of posting it on, the, on, the, on, your, uh, on your LinkedIn profile. Uh, also, it, what it really helps to do on LinkedIn is post the personal brand inside of it to get yourself out there, get your face out there, post selfies with business stuff or, or, or mortgage stuff or, and stuff that you just up to on a weekend. People need to see the, that you're real, uh, you're a real genuine human being. I just post stuff, whatever I'm doing on, on, on my personal life out with the kids, I'll post that and just get people to warm to you and then and, and, and connect with you on a on a human level, which people need these days, especially in financial services when it's a big financial commitment. So step four then is actually executing on the strategy. So obviously we've given you the basics of it. You can go ahead and have a go at this strategy yourself. Obviously, if you do try it yourself, you you, you might get there in the end, but it will be it'll take you a while. Um, to get there and it'll cost a lot of time and effort. So the other option is to work with an expert mentor to guide you through the process, which is obviously where I come in. So I can give you everything that you need, this, all this strategy, all these prompts, show you exactly how to set up your profile, step by step how to do it. So if you want to do that, uh, if you want to arrange a call, we do a, a business strategy session, a business growth session, over Zoom to learn more about you and your business, just to see if it's a good fit. We don't work with everybody; it is limited. We only want to work with people that we can, we know we can get results for, because we do offer a guarantee on the investment as well. So it's no, we're not. I'm not kind of. I don't want to be selling you on something you don't need. So it's, there's not a, a high pressure sales call or anything. I want to get to know you, get to make sure we can get you some results. And like I say, I only work with people that I can get results because we offer a guarantee on it. So I don't want to be working with people that we can't get results and having to refund 100% of the investment back, which is something we offer if you don't get results and you followed everything that we've said, which has never happened. Because to say, if you do follow everything that we say, then it 100% does work. So you can get in touch with me on um, Facebook or Instagram, uh, well, yeah, on Instagram or LinkedIn, just at Dan Reddish, or you can book an appointment on uh, danreddishconsulting.uk. You can also, I've got my calendar in there. There's also a, a, a bit of an intro, uh, a bit of a presentation as to what we do on there in a bit more detail, but yeah, that's that's pretty much the uh, the training over. I could say if you've uh, if you got any other questions, you know, you know where to where to get in touch with me, but yeah. Thank you very much for your time.